We love you. You piece of shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you're wondering what the heck is going on here, let us explain. Lately, we've been having calls with our subscribers and during a chat with Anna Lee, we talked about the power of our thoughts and how they play a huge role in shaping how we feel and who we become. She mentioned how a Japanese pseudoscientist, Dr. Masaru Emoto, has taken this concept a step further and tried to explain the impact our thoughts have on us through science. For over 20 years, he studied how the molecular structure of water changes when it's exposed to words and intentions. One of Dr. Emoto's experiments involved taking two identical jars filled with rice and water and speaking lovingly to one and hatefully to the other for 30 days. His results were pretty astonishing. The jar exposed to love started fermenting and looked completely healthy while the rice exposed to hate turned black and moldy. His theory suggests that if water is so affected by words and intentions, imagine how our body and well-being is affected by our thoughts, since roughly 60% of us is made out of water. So with the help of another subscriber, Eve, who's a grad student in experimental bioscience, we set up the experiment following her guidelines. Step 1. Sterilize three jars to destroy any bacteria. Step 2. Boil organic rice in order for it to absorb water. Then step 3. Add the exact same quantity of rice and water in each jar. Step 4. Label one hate, one love, and ignore the third. Then finally, step 5. Place the jars in a room where the environment stays pretty constant, aka our shed. Oh wait, is there right on? <laughs> we love you. We're grateful for you, for everything that you do for us, for feeding us. <laughs> Are really me. dirty, disgusting. Should we even care about you? Like you deserve just hell. Disgusting. You deserve hell and nothing more. You. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> That's day one done. We're gonna be doing this for the next 29 days. They're gonna stay in here. We'll be back tomorrow. So roll the compilation. So it took us a while to really feel and believe what we were saying, but with time, we got a hang of it and proceeded to love and hate these bloody jars for 30 days. All right, after 30 days of speaking to the jars, it's time for the big reveal. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes, let's freaking do it. Two, one. All right, so let's talk about this. <laughs> Okay, although our results were not as drastic as expected, when we looked closely, we did notice a small difference. The water in the love jar seemed to be extremely clear and it was easy to see the rice on the surface, while the water in the hate jar had a cloudy layer covering the rice on top. You see this, right? I mean, stop the frame. You see, white, move to the next, dark, no? Am I, am, I, am I going crazy? I don't know. Please let us know in the comments if you see this. Anyways, now that we've established that, this layer was even more evident in the jar that we ignored, making the water the most opaque. Ah, I know, this is pretty damn underwhelming for us as well. <laughs> but don't click away just yet. Although the experiment didn't show an evident impact on the rice, we're still huge believers that our internal dialogue can have an impact on how we feel and act in our daily lives. So, before ending the video, we thought we'd share two tactics that help us manage our negative voices. What I like to do is personify my negative voices, so imagining them as actual people. This helps me to one, remember that I'm not my thoughts, they're simply characters that reside in my mind. And two, it makes it easier for me to be compassionate towards them, as I see them as other people. So if you're curious to know exactly how you can use this technique, you can check out this video where I share how I deal with this particular voice called Dolores and how it helped me get over my biggest fear of losing the people that I love. Okay, so I believe that our thoughts create an internal home within us, a place which either makes us feel safe and confident, or a place that makes us feel insecure and unmotivated. Now, imagine your thoughts as the bricks you use to build your internal home. Your positive and compassionate thoughts build a stable, sturdy, and beautiful internal home, while negative thoughts build a fragile and unstable shack. So every time I catch myself with a negative thought, I try to take a moment to pause and I replace that negative thought with a positive one so that I make sure that my internal home is as well built as possible. So these are the two tactics that have helped us. We haven't mastered them yet. <laughs> We're working on it, we got this. But we hope one of these resonates with you guys too. And if you guys do struggle with negative voices, check out this video here. It's a spoken word poem that we wrote about the importance of your internal dialogue and how it can change your life. With that said, we will see you next week and don't forget. Dare to be happy. Ha <laughs> ha